By the end of this video, you will be able to create a chat system for the games that you are making in Roblox Studio so that players can talk to objects like rocks. Let's get started. So I have Roblox Studio open here, and I thought it would be cool to show how to talk to objects like a rock or a tree or any other thing that you can put into your games. And it's very simple to do this, and you do not need to know any scripting. So the first thing you're going to need is the object. So this could be either a part that you insert into the game, or it could be a model from the toolbox. So I have my rock in the game, and I'd like to create a dialogue system so that when a player approaches this rock, they can talk back and forth. So the first thing you want to do is find the rock in the Explorer tab. Now, this one is named Union, but we can change that if we want to rock. But I'm going to keep it Union so you can know that this is a model we're working with. So we're going to click the plus icon next to the Union, and we're going to look for a dialogue. So that is what we're going to insert into this rock. And now that we have the dialogue, we can go to the bottom right-hand side on Properties and scroll down to where you can see the initial prompt and the goodbye dialogue. So we have the initial prompt, and this is the first thing that the rock is going to say to the player when they approach the rock. So let's go ahead and say, finally, someone to talk to. Do you want to hear a joke? Okay, so that's what The Rock is going to say to the character when they approach it. Let's go ahead and play the game so you can see how this works. So I've spawned, and now I'm going over to The Rock, and you can see there's a dialog box on the top, so now I need to click that, and it's gonna say, finally, someone to talk to, do you want to hear a joke? Okay, so The Rock is able to talk to me, now I need to learn how to talk to The Rock. Now you also notice that the dialog is kind of in a weird place, but I'll show you how to fix that near the end of the video, so you can adjust where the conversation shows up on the screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop the gameplay. I need to go back over to my Explorer and click on the dialogue. Now, in order to add a choice for the player, you need to look for a, you wanna click the plus icon in dialogue and then click on a dialogue choice. So now I have a dialogue choice, I'm gonna click on that. And again, you can go down to the right hand side of the screen and you wanna find where it says user dialogue. So this is the part that the player is gonna say back to the rock. So the user dialogue, I'm gonna say, yes, I would like to hear a joke. Now the response dialogue is where you put in the answer from the rock, so he's gonna say the joke. So let's say, rocks do things for the crater good of humanity. <laughs> so a, a little pun here for today, but hopefully you enjoyed the joke. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and play the game. And so now I'm gonna be able to talk back and forth with the rock. So I come on over, I click on the dialogue, Finally, someone to talk to, do you want to hear a joke? Now I have a response. I can say yes or I can say goodbye. I'm going to say yes, I would like to hear a joke. And the rock is going to say, rocks do things for the greater good of humanity. And again, you'll see the position of this text is not quite optimal, so we're going to change that in a second. Uh, one last thing I want to show you, though, I'm going to stop the gameplay. And I'm going to go back to the dialogue and the dialogue choice. Now let's say I wanted to give the player an option to say no. So I'm going to go to the dialogue, and I'm going to add another dialogue choice. So... Let's go ahead and find a dialogue choice. Click on that. Now you see the dialogue choices, they're right next to each other like that. So that means they're gonna show uh, at the same time on the screen. If I, You can actually add choices within choices, but that continues the conversation. I have another video on how to do NPC chats. Uh, I'll put a link to it around this video so you can find exactly how to order these so that it works for your dialogue. So now this other dialogue choice, I'm gonna go ahead and say, instead of saying, yes, I wanna hear a joke, I wanna say, no, I do not want to hear a joke and then then uh, since I said no the rock will say okay too bad goodbye all right so now I'm gonna go and play this and you're gonna notice I'm gonna be able to have a whole conversation with this rock okay so I'm gonna go ahead and click on the dialogue box find someone to talk to do you want to hear a joke and I'm gonna say no I don't want to hear a joke no I don't want to hear a joke and then you can see he said okay too bad bye now I want to show you how to fix the positioning of the text for this rock in order to alter where that text shows up, the best thing I found to do is actually add another part. So I'm gonna go up to home and then add another block. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position this block so that it is near the top of this rock because that, that text was too low. And so I want that text to be higher above the rock. So I put the, that block on the top of this rock. <laughs> Man, I'm rhyming a lot today. And what we're gonna do is we're going to anchor that. So I wanna make sure that that block stays in place and I'm gonna go down to, I wanna turn off can collide because I, I do not want a player to be able to collide with that part. And what we're gonna do is, so you can see the part is here on the right-hand side of the Explorer. I'm gonna take that whole dialogue, the first top of this dialogue, it's gonna include everything that's underneath this dropdown, 
and I'm just going to drag that right into the block. So now that dialog is actually attached to the block. And that's what I was saying at the beginning of the video. You can attach a dialog system to any part in your game. And let's go ahead and play the game and you'll see where the positioning is of that dialog now. So you can see that part is on the top of that block. We'll make that invisible in a second. But I'm going to go ahead and click the dialog box. And now you can see it's in a much better place to talk with the rock. So I'm going to say, yes, I would like to hear a joke. And then see now the positioning of that text is much better for the player to read. Rocks do great things for the greater good of humanity. And then I don't have a goodbye text. You can do a goodbye uh, at the end of this if you would like. And that's in the dialogue choices. So I hope you enjoyed this video on how to create a dialogue system for something like a rock in your game. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Roblox Studio tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.